Hey, Elvis Cup Guy here. Quick video. I've got a few mystery photographs that I would like help once again identifying the exact date and venue they were taken in. Or and um, also I went to an estate sale earlier today and I actually found an eight track tape that has really got me dumbfounded. So I'm gonna show you the three or the two eight track tapes to begin with, and then I'm gonna show you the three mystery photos. So let me go ahead and get into it. So what I found here is an eight track tape, Elvis 1969 year in review, Elvis Presley, the Memphis record. Now what struck me about this particular eight track tape is the fact that I had no idea, I'll show you here, I had no idea they were still making eight track tapes in 1987. And I think you had to get on like mail order only or record club only. They didn't sell them in the store because by 87, they were already selling CDs. So just think this thing was made in 1987 and you could get it on actually four formats, LP or album. You could get it on CD. You could get it on cassette. And oddly enough, you could get it on eight track tape. And I'm gonna show you the back of it here. Let's see, we'll focus in. You see right there, 1987 BMG Music. So I had no idea that you could actually still get an eight track tape in 1987. Now, I also found this eight track tape, which that didn't surprise me because it was made in that format. Let me see if it, give, if it gives a date here. Hold on. Yeah, it gives a 1974. And then, this was odd too. I'm a big Dwight Yoakam fan, but I never knew there was any, or were any Dwight Yoakam eight track tapes that were made. But obviously there, uh, there were, here's Dwight Yoakam, Hillbilly Deluxe. And if you look on the back here, it says 1987. And then as a little bonus, I'll try to cover this up. Red Fox, my gosh, interesting uh, eight track tape here. But anyway, like I said, I'm gonna get right into the mystery Elvis photos now. I would like everyone's help if they could, let me know when they think these were taken. Obviously it's 75, was it Asheville 75? I don't think, it, well, it couldn't be Charlotte because Elvis wasn't in Charlotte, North Carolina in 1975. He was here in 74. I'm in Charlotte, by the way, now. He was here in 74, and he was here in 76, in 77, in 72, but not in 75. So, was this Asheville, North Carolina? I'll zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see what he's wearing. And if anyone could help me identify it, please leave a comment. Please subscribe please hit the little notification bell and you will be notified as to when I put on new videos. But there's photo number one. There's photo number two. Elvis has just hit the stage, it looks like. As his scarf is still tucked in, notice the famous Aloha guitar. And let's see if we can see what kind of jewelry he's got on. 
Okay, so there's photo number two. And lastly, Elvis, 1975. Like I said, please help me identify this. I know it's 75, and you see he's wearing the big diamond encrusted cross. You can see the ring he's got on, the belt. But there you go, three Elvis photos that I need help identifying. And like I said, cool eight track tape that I did not know was still being produced in 1987. Elvis, the Memphis record, 1969, year in review.